Governor Ron DeSantis signed four pieces of legislation into law that he says will protect Floridians from medical mandates like masks and vaccines we had during the pandemic. Uh, these restrictions and these mandates, the purpose of them was not to safeguard your health. The purpose of them was to control your behavior. The governor also says the new laws will empower doctors. Critics, however, say the new laws will deny medical treatments for some people. Our Capitol Bureau reporter Libby Dean is in Tallahassee with the story. People who support this bill say it's all about medical providers' First Amendment rights, but Democrats say that's exactly what the problem is here. That this gives doctors the ability to discriminate against certain patients. The governor Thursday writing a prescription he calls freedom. All in all, uh, we set out to prescribe freedom in Florida. The medical conscience law gives health care providers and insurers new rights, including the ability to opt out of participation or payment for certain health care services on the basis of personal objections. And we want our physicians practicing evidence-based medicine. Uh, we don't want it to just defer to authority or to just follow the herd. Republicans backed the bill this session, saying it's common sense. It's a very simple thing. The bill says that if I'm a physician and I have a conscious-based objection, I have a moral objection to something, I should be able to say no. The policy has been met with fierce criticism from the LGBTQ plus community. These things are dangerous because they, the unintended consequences behind a lot of these uh, are, if, if, are life and death for Floridians. Florida's first openly gay state senator, Chevron Jones, worried the law could lead to medical discrimination. It's going to cause individuals to having to start shopping around to go find a doctor and what if an individual is really truly in need at that moment and they really need that care. Either way, the law goes into effect July 1st of this year. Now the governor signing off on this today obviously makes this law, but critics have raised some serious constitutionality concerns, so the final stop for this may be in court. That's all from the Capitol. I'm Libby Dean, 8 on your side.